Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel iNewsU. Today, we're diving into a pressing issue that has aviation enthusiasts and travelers alike concerned, the recent incident involving a Boeing 737 MAX aircraft that has once again thrust safety concerns into the spotlight. I'm your host John Abraham, and let's get straight into the details. Our top story centers around Boeing's 737 MAX jet, once hailed as the safest plane in the world. However, almost five years after its second fatal crash and three years after the FAA deemed it safe to return to the skies, troubling safety problems persist. The FAA recently ordered a temporary grounding and immediate inspections of certain Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft after a harrowing incident during an Alaska Airlines flight. Late on a Friday evening, an Alaska Airlines flight experienced a shocking event shortly after takeoff. A piece of the plane blew off, leaving a gaping hole with views of the starry night. In response, Alaska Air Group Incorporated grounded its entire fleet of the Boeing MAX variant, and United Airlines Holdings Incorporated also conducted emergency inspections, affecting about 171 planes worldwide. The FAA order has sent ripples across the globe, affecting 171 planes and prompting an emergency meeting by China's aviation regulator to consider grounding the Boeing MAX fleet in the country. While the version involved in the Alaska Air incident isn't flown by Chinese carriers, the specter of safety concerns may further delay Boeing's deliveries to China, impacting both the company and its Chinese customers. This incident isn't the first bump in the road for Boeing. The company has faced a series of production glitches, regulatory holdups, and delivery delays. From incorrect rear fittings to fastener holes drilled improperly, the 737 MAX has been plagued with issues. These challenges have contributed to delays in deliveries, and the FAA recently monitored targeted inspections for loose bolts, raising further questions about the aircraft's overall quality control. To understand the gravity of the situation, it's crucial to recall the two fatal MAX crashes that claimed 346 lives. These tragedies were linked to flight control software known as the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System MCOS, which was activated by a single sensor malfunction, forcing the planes to nosedive. The fallout prompted a broad overhaul of the plane's computers and electrical wiring separation to enhance reliability. In the aftermath of the MAX crisis, Boeing has implemented internal accountability safeguards and safety reporting protocols. However, critics argue that the company's challenges may stem from deep-rooted cultural issues. CEO Dave Calhoun has defended the company's stance, resisting calls for more sweeping overhauls. While steps have been taken to adjust contracts with suppliers like Spirit Aerosystems, the need for a cultural shift within Boeing remains a topic of debate. The recent incident has reignited concerns not only among travelers but also within the aviation industry. With Boeing facing continuous challenges, some CEOs at Boeing clients had openly called for management changes in mid-2022. Although the criticism has somewhat quieted, this latest setback may revive the discussion about the need for a fresh perspective within the company. Amidst the ongoing scrutiny, Boeing finds itself entangled in a web of production challenges. The 737 MAX isn't the only aircraft facing turbulence in its manufacturing process. The 787 Dreamliner faced a more than year-long halt in deliveries due to intricacies in its carbon fiber frame and regulatory scrutiny of the production process. Additionally, the commercial rollout of the Jumbo 777X jet has been significantly delayed until 2025. These setbacks, coupled with repeated write-downs on defense programs, underscore a broader pattern of production and quality control issues haunting the aerospace giant.
The FAA, in its role as a regulatory watchdog, has been vigilant in monitoring Boeing's compliance with safety standards. Recent revelations about targeted inspections for loose bolts in the MAX jets add another layer to the FAA's ongoing oversight. This continuous scrutiny reflects the delicate balance between fostering industry innovation and ensuring the safety of passengers and crews. Boeing, in acknowledgement of its challenges, agreed in October to adjust contracts with key suppliers, notably Spirit Aerosystems, aiming to stave off potential cash flow crises. However, these adjustments have not been without criticism, with some viewing them as perpetuating a lopsided relationship. Despite these challenges, CEO Dave Calhoun has maintained his stance, pushing back on the idea of deep-rooted cultural problems within Boeing. The appointment of Stephanie Pope as the chief operating officer hints at potential leadership changes, though the question remains whether this is enough to address the systemic issues at hand. The reverberations of the Boeing 737 MAX incident extend beyond borders. With China considering a response, the global aviation landscape may witness further shifts. China having been the first to ground the MAX after its initial crashes, holds significant influence over Boeing's market and deliveries. The safety concerns surrounding the MAX may impact Boeing's relationships and business dealings with Chinese customers. As Boeing grapples with these challenges, the broader implications for the aviation industry come into focus. With an increasing number of CEOs at Boeing clients openly expressing concerns about management changes, the industry may be at a crossroads. The seemingly never-ending stream of quality control issues emanating from Boeing raises questions about the long-term impact on the company's reputation, market share, and the aviation sector as a whole. In the midst of these challenges, the critical question arises, what lies ahead for Boeing in the aviation industry? As stakeholders await Boeing's response to the latest setback and potential global regulatory decisions, the industry's resilience and adaptability are put to the test. The path forward demands not just immediate solutions, but a strategic reevaluation of Boeing's culture, production processes, and relationships with suppliers. In conclusion, the Boeing 737 MAX blowout incident highlights not only immediate safety concerns, but also broader issues within the company's culture and supply chain. As the aviation community closely watches how Boeing addresses this latest challenge, questions about the overall safety and reliability of the 737 MAX persist. Stay tuned for further updates, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful updates on the latest happenings around the world. Until next time, stay informed and safe in your travels. This is John Abraham, signing off.